Today, our good friends Terry and Barbara are going to tell us about why they chose to buy a Casita travel trailer. They'll also provide some tips on what you might want to consider before you buy one of your own. And, if you'd like the full tour of their Casita Spirit Deluxe, follow the link above. Introducing yourself, your name, and where you're from. I'm Barbara. I'm Terry. I'm Terry. Yep. We live in Eaton, Ohio. We live there in Ohio all our married life, which is 54 years. We have a 2011 Casita Lux. <laughs> and what are you pulling it with? We're pulling it with a 2014 Toyota Highlander V6. Okay. It pulls very easy. Still gets 17, 18 miles a gallon while pulling. Nice. Which is remarkable, I think. And and Barbara, I heard earlier that you're the reason that. You guys are traveling in a Casita trailer. Can you tell me more about that? Yes. Uh, my main concern was if we didn't like it, we could resell it and hold its value. I didn't want a bunch of leaking or problems with it. Casita has a very good, very good reputation for that. I also didn't want to have to buy a big vehicle to tow it. I, yep. you know, our second car should be a second car and able to to tow the Casita. Yeah. I did want to mention when people would search for a casita that they need to be aware that the used ones sell very quickly, very quickly, and yeah. there's a waiting list for the new ones. Yeah. So if you're interested and you see one you really are interested in, you need to you've got to jump you've on got it. You've got to right? jump on it. Yeah. yeah. issues in that uh, it came loose because of all the you know, vibration and yeah. jumping around. So I think everyone we've things. talked to on the road, there's always something that's occurred because of vibration on yes. the road. And I yes. think you just have to expect if you're traveling in a trailer, something is going to break at some point. Right. Right. And you're bouncing down the road. Prepared. So, a lot of people that might be watching this video are maybe thinking about buying a trailer. They're probably thinking about buying a small trailer, like a little casita. So, if someone had never been out in a trailer before, and they were seeing all of these little trailers, and they were thinking, maybe I should do this, is this right for me? What would you tell them? What would be your recommendation to them? Find one and, and go look at it, go inside, see how it feels, sizes up for you. I, I'd do that first. Then, I wouldn't would recommend renting necessarily because often things don't work. Yeah, kind of beat up. Kind of beat up a little bit. So maybe not a true representation of right. what you'd actually discouraged. be getting. I mean, if, if you're never camped before, maybe going to a KOA and renting one of those little cabins. And see if you Might like, be a good start. Yeah, like, that kind of environment. So, yeah. um, this is a small trailer, 17 foot. Mm -hmm. um, what's it like to, to live in here? You guys have been on the road, what now, for a month you've been, or mm -hmm. three weeks? Mm -hmm. Almost a month. So, what's it like to live in a little space like this? Just get used to it. Yeah. No, no big deal. <laughs> it just feels normal now, Terry? It feels normal. Yeah. yeah. On a rainy day, I mean, we'll just get the games out. We'll sit there and play games. Or we get bored with games, we'll hop into bed, turn the TV on, and plug in a movie, watch in a movie. Or... Yeah, it doesn't bother us from trying to maneuver around Not here. We, we know <laughs> what we need to do to stay out of each other's way. But yeah, yeah there's the no dancing. The first to learn to do in, in this trailer is move slower <laughs> yes so if you move very slowly when you open doors and go inside and take slow steps yeah he's almost you don't like bang a in, in a china shop you don't something. bang into things yeah 
Yeah, I guess it just becomes a regular lifestyle. You're yeah. in the trailer long enough and mm -hmm. you just get used to you the smaller the space. space. And Is there anything you miss yeah. from home? Our friends. Yeah. Any things? Friends. Things? No things that you're like, oh, I wish I had a bigger trailer so I could bring <laughs> this particular thing with me. Mm, I don't think no, so. Not really. Well, no. I think if you had more space like in the car, you'd fill it up. So we yeah. try not to do that. In a bigger trailer, <laughs> you'll fill it up. Yeah, a bigger house, you fill it up. So. We're in a stage of life where it's downsizing, downsizing. Yeah. You know, giving away things. Things are just things at the end of the day. Yeah. And you don't necessarily need all of these things to be yeah. happy. I mean, I have at home things that antiques that were belonged in the family and all that. And I enjoy being around that. Yeah. But I don't need to bring it with me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, it's yeah. still back there. Yeah. Yeah. I want to go home. Yeah. Well, I want to thank both of you for uh, for giving us a tour of your trailer. Thank you. And telling us a little bit about uh, the RV life and, and what it's all about. I think this will be inspiring to a lot of people. If you enjoyed this video, please consider hitting that like button. Or even better, subscribe to our channel. It really does help us reach a wider audience. And don't forget to come back tomorrow to see where we go next.